Ladies and gentlemen, be very welcome to Minecraft with me, once again, Cub, here on Hermitcraft Season 7 server. We're here on the Starter Island, just logged on for the first time, and all I see around me is ocean, except for in the back there we got a little mushroom island. Might go over there and check that out, see what's up over there. Um, but, yeah, welcome guys to Season 7. Uh, in case you are unfamiliar with... Uh, how the seasons work here on Hermitcraft. Uh, basically, when we start a new season, it's basically like we're starting over. Totally new world, totally new uh, everything, essentially. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. What do we have here? We have a sign that says, Welcome back to Season 7 Spawn. This is my first time here, Joe. Come on. Have a boat. Hey, and a pickaxe. I'm just going to take the boat, though. Okay, cool. So, obviously, first thing you do in a Minecraft world... Take a boat to a mushroom island. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Maybe some people have been here. Maybe some people have not been here. We shall see. Hey, signs of life. All right, cool. Oh, I see land over here. I may have to boat over there. Yeah, this is, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun season, I think. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, there's somebody. Or is that just a... That might be somebody. We gotta go over and check it out. Alright guys, so we got ourselves a bunch of dried kelp smelted up, and we're gonna pick up the stuff from this furnace here, and we're gonna move on to another spot. So, let's just go ahead and grab this. We will eat up some dried kelp. There we go, super quick. You can eat kelp a lot faster than you can other... other foods, so that's... Kind of a cool thing. I see a crafting bench up here, and I think I saw someone up here. Let's see. Yeah, there's somebody over there. Let's go and see what this is about here. I think I still got my boat on me. Yep, I still got my boat on me. Do have to be careful, though, because we're still without any sort of uh, protection and stuff. Oh, there's Tango! hey oh <laughs> hey oh <laughs> That's awesome. Tango Tech, ladies and gentlemen. He's already in full Iron Enchanted. Jeez, this guy's next level. God dang. Hang on, let me see. He's got some turtles over here. That's pretty cool. He's clearing an area here. I guess he's settling here. He's got all this he's placed down. He's built up the shoreline. Man, he's set. He is set. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to continue on down this way. Past the turtle boat. I want to see if this... This is probably uh, looted already. Oop, I picked up a sand. Perfect. I want to see if this is looted already, but... We need to find some stuff here, so let's let's go down and see. There's already stuff that's been maybe looted here, potentially. And let's see, this comes down here. Already looted. Already looted. Yep. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is, as a courtesy, we're gonna strip this mast, and that will signify. There we go. That this is looted. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so let's continue on here. Alright guys, so we went through the village, and then we crossed the desert over to here. Uh, I'm gonna pick up some cactus while I'm here, by the way. Just so we got some, just in case we need a little bit. I should probably also pick up a couple more blocks of sand, just in case we need this. Although we can probably get this on any beach, so not really sure why I'm bothering. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're now entering a forest, and what I'd like to do is maybe get some dogs. That would be pretty cool. I saw a couple around here just a moment ago, although I'm not sure where they went. But yeah, we're going to go through this forest, see where this potentially will lead us. Yeah, there's some dogs right there. So I don't have any bones, unfortunately, to, to tame them with. But uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe soon we can get in, like a pack of dogs and they can like protect us and like follow us around and stuff. That'd be pretty sweet. Aha, we got some cows. We got some cows, which means... We can grab some leather, potentially, here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, that'll work. Oh, look at the baby pig! <laughs> That's awesome. Little baby pig. So, yeah, these animals will now spawn as babies. Uh, a lot of animals, different types of animals, in fact, will now spawn as babies. So that's super cool to see. All right, guys, so we've made it to a plains biome now. And, you know, I should probably... I should probably just go mining, right? And get some iron gear, but... I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like maybe we just stay on the surface for a while and, like, explore a little bit. Maybe we can get some leather gear going. I don't know. We'll see. I'm already having inventory problems, though, so that's a thing. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to put down some furnaces here uh, that are going to be our sort of like temporary base as we uh, get going here. So let's put in some stuff like this. We'll put in some stuff like this and we'll put in some stuff like that. There we go. Uh, and then we're also probably going to want a crafting bench down here. Put that down. We'll also need to get maybe some torches going. That would probably be nice just so I don't come up into what would be potentially a mob infested area right next to all my stuff. <laughs> uh, we're also going to need to get a chest going, so let's do that. So we'll get one of that, one of this. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe we should do... Can we do a barrel, maybe? Maybe that would be better. Let's see. Do we have the barrel? Yeah, let's do a barrel. Barrels look cool. <laughs> um, so we'll put the barrel at the end here. Open this bad boy up. Put everything we have in there just been sort of picking up whatever type of like random junk we that might potentially be useful at any point uh, and trying that out so there we go this one and we're gonna need even more charcoal in these so we'll just do like this do some of that do some of that and I think that should be good. We'll probably use this to make charcoal once this runs out. And then we'll head down to the mines, I think. Yeah, I guess that's probably the next step. I'm also going to craft up a leather cap, because why not? There we go. And we can probably... Let's dye it... Let's dye it blue. Why not? Seems like a good color. There we go. Blue cap. How do I look? I look like I can't see out of it. Fantastic. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, so we'll grab the stake and stuff. Uh, we got our sword. We got our stuff here. I'm going to grab some wood because you never know when you're going to need wood. Uh, we're also going to make up another crafting bench like so. And then we're going to head down essentially, I think. I think that's pretty much all we'll need. Yeah, I'm going to just toss a couple of those out there. All right, so let's dig down. Let's dig down, like, right here, I think, would be a good spot. And we'll just go mining for a little bit. You know what the best thing about this is? The best thing about this is that even though we didn't sleep through the night, we got our spawn point set, so we will respawn right above us uh, if, we, if we die here for some reason. I'm trying to dig toward a zombie I'm hearing. Got some coal. I think I hear a zombie right in here. He's close now. For sure. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves some mobs. Oh, okay. Gotta remember, I got no armor. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta be kind of careful here. Gotta shake and bake. Gotta evade this guy. I don't think he can shoot me from there. Yeah, he's in a spot where he can't shoot me. At an angle there. There we go. First kill. Perfect. Pat myself on the back for that one. Alright, let's open this up. I think we're good here. We can take this guy on. Let's put down some torches. Okay, not a whole lot here except for coal, but actually we need coal right now. So might as well grab a little bit of this, and then we'll start to head down into the depths. Into the depths we go. Alright, this is actually a fairly deep cave, to be honest. Alright, and it ends here, pretty much. Sweet, alright, so... Grab that, first piece of iron gotten. Thank you very much. I hear lava. We're not too deep, 32 blocks down. Not too deep at all. But, we can definitely use this iron. That is for sure. So let's just grab all of this. There we go. And let's see, we need some cobblestone. Like so. And I think I saw a bunch of coal up here we can also get. So we can start to smelt up a bunch of this iron. Get some iron gear going. Not too tough to get this iron gear. Have not died yet, by the way. So that's good news. But yeah, we'll smelt up some of this iron ore and see where we're at. Alright guys, so we got a couple of pieces of iron smelted up here. You can see we got 16 pieces of iron, or almost 16. After this it'll be 16. There we go, 16 pieces of iron. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves some 
armor here. So we got some chest plate already. We got a legging. We need some boots right here. There we go. And I'm also going to make a iron pickaxe because I'll need that for redstone and diamonds and lapis and all the stuff like that. So that'll be perfect. Um, there we go. Advancement made. Isn't it iron pick? <laughs> Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll grab our smeltery or our, uh, or what do you call it? Our furnace right there. Take that down there with us as well. I think we got enough food now. And let's just go ahead and head on down into the caves. Now, as I said, this only made it down to 32. So we're going to have to dig down further from here. But I think it should be pretty cool. So, yeah, let me go ahead and from here. I think we're going to keep digging. I think we're going to go in. Let's go in this direction here. Keep going down this way, make a little staircase, see if we find anything. Oh, and speak of the devil, and he will appear. Ladies and gentlemen, we're rich. Our first gold piece. Okay, perfect. I'm going to keep digging here. I'll be back. All right, I'm hearing some very bad stuff very close by. Lots of zombies, a skeleton. They sound like they're coming from this way. Like Maybe they might be up there a little ways. So let's try to reach them. It is a baby zombie, though. Or at least it sounds like a baby zombie. Feels like they're... Almost like they're right above me. Could be famous last words here, potentially. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Gotta get my shield out, for sure. Okay, let's see what we got up here. Oh, I'm seeing some enchanted people. Skeletor. Enchanted Skeletor. More... Oh, man, there's a lot of bad stuff here. Oh, there's a creeper. I'm out. I'm out. Little kid, of course. Why wouldn't there be a little kid? Oh, boy, this could be bad. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Little kids, please. Little kids, please. Okay, little kids have been controlled. That was almost the first death there, but not quite. I should have got. I should have had blocks on my uh, my my bar here, but did not. Uh, okay. Very close, very close to first death, but that's okay. <laughs> we, uh, oh, still could be first first death, <laughs> but not today, thank you. All right, awesome. Uh, let's light this up. That was crazy. That guy, like, hid from me. He was, he was hiding in wait to ambush me right there. All right, let's uh, make sure we got close to full health coming in here. Okay, we got a baby zombie on a chicken. There we go. Oh, what the world? How are there so many baby zombies here? What the heck? There we go. Got these little kids under control. Not gonna die to a little kid. Come on now. Man, this is like 10 baby zombies we've seen in the last, like, 25 seconds. This must be a heck of a cave. There is a creeper up here, I know for sure. So I want to uh, avoid that. Potentially drawn in down here. Okay, there are two creepers up there. So let's be a little careful how we get in here. Okay. Be a little careful here. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Took out three mobs in a single explosion. Helpful creeper. Helpful creeper. Oh, uh, there's another creeper? Are you serious? Alright, there we go. We got some gunpowder now. That's good. Okay. Now is it safe to go? I think it's safe to go up now. As I died to a creeper who explodes me instantly. Yep, not safe. Not safe at all. 
Definitely not safe at all. There's still a creeper coming after me. Have to behind me. Yep. 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 Okay. Good to know. This is the death cave. All right. Thank you. Take the gum powder. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. All right, guys. I got good news and I got bad news. Good news is we're still alive. We got full health. Bad news is this Enderman is after us. Look at him. He is shaking with anger. Shaking with rage. Uh, and we also have skeletons and other bad stuff down there. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to make a break for it right here. going to see if this Enderman will follow us. I don't think he is following us for whatever reason. I'm going to go down there and smack him a few times. I don't know why this guy's not teleporting. It's kind of strange. Oh, oh. Okay. Keep the shield up. Keep the shield up. Enderman is... I thought the Enderman was down. I guess not. Now he's down. Alright, sweet. First Ender Pearl. Take it. I'll take it. Skeletors are fighting amongst themselves. Excuse me. Okay. This is actually at the intersection of a ravine here, guys. Which is totally crazy. And also... This area is totally full... Of creepers and other bad stuff. But yeah, there's like a ravine that goes here. It, there's one that goes inside here. Just show you real quick. Yeah, there's a second ravine over here. So, kind of a crazy area. We'll take it. We'll take that. <laughs> Alright, I need to go get some more torches. But, yeah, this is going to be a good ravine, I, f I think. You know what, guys? I'm thinking maybe this ravine is not for me. At least not right now. I think what we might want to do is we may want to just simply take this skeleton out here and maybe we can get yeah a couple bones there. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and explore the surface a little bit because I want to get I want to get sort of like an army of animals because I don't think I've ever done that in Minecraft at least not for an extended period of time. And I'd like to do that this season. So, I'm actually going to head through where I was digging uh, and yeah, head back up to the surface. We want to do some exploration. We're going to try and find some dogs, maybe some cats, and also we want to try and get some loot from villages and dungeons, and also from temples and stuff. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the surface. We're going to do a little bit of exploration. All right, guys, so we're hot on the trail of this treasure. Looks like we got to go to the other side here of this little outcropping and then we should be basically there so it looks like maybe along that far bank here that's a nice beach there could potentially be treasure there let's go and head over to the land over here and we'll see if we can spot any treasure yep okay so it looks like right ahead here is where the treasure should be so I'm gonna dig down here See if we can spot anything. Looks like right around here is where this is, potentially. Oh, here we go. Found it. Got the treasure. Got the treasure. Ayo, there we go. Very good. All right, sweet. So we got some gold. Let's see, we're not really going to need too much sand right now. We got more iron. Got some cooked salmon, some cooked cod. Uh, let's see, we can probably combine these. Uh, let's see, heart of the sea, we're going to definitely want to keep that. Uh, tunic, we don't really need anymore. We got some dried kelp. We're pretty much full up on that, though. Grab another cooked cod. Okay, so there is that. And I'm going to put this in there. And yeah, first buried treasure found. I had to dig out quite a large area here. Because this is kind of like a little bit off from, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's a little bit further forward than you'd expect, it seems to me at least, but, yeah. Anyway, buried treasure has been found, got the heart of the sea, fantastic, let's keep rolling. Hey, there we go, alright, very nice. Second buried treasure, and look at that, our first diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Diamonds, 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 I'll take it. I will take it. Another heart of the sea, more food, fantastic. All right, I'm going to jack this chest as well. We're going to pick this up because I had to craft a new shovel. That one we found much quicker right there. So, yeah, awesome. First diamonds right here. We'll keep this treasure map, and, yeah, we'll look around a little bit more.
So I went out and found a few more buried treasure chests. We ended up with four in total. So we have four hearts of the sea. We got some diamonds. And I also found quite a bit of iron and some gold and some lapis uh, in those uh, buried treasure chests. Uh, we also found a village. So we got some melons and we got some hay bales from that village. Uh, and also some emeralds from there as well. So that's fantastic. But I feel like we need to move from this area where we're going to be mining for a while. Because... Uh, effectively, it becomes incredibly hard to move yourself around uh, in early game uh, without shulker boxes and without ender chests. So I'm, I'm having to leave all this stuff behind because I just do not have enough inventory space to carry it all. Um, which is, yeah, kind of a flaw in the game in my opinion. Inventory management is not great in early game uh, without shulker boxes. And even with shulker boxes, it's still pretty bad. Uh, I really think they need to focus on inventory. Uh, in 1.17, uh, especially given all the new blocks that's coming with the Nether update, uh, and that have been added in the past several years. So we will see, but yeah, we're going to leave this area, going to head out and see if we can find a good spot to base. Uh, there's a jungle over here that could be interesting potentially, but we'll see. I'm not exactly sure, like I said, where I want to base or what I want to do this season, so we'll see what we come across. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I picked up two dogs on the way to this desert, and I feel like this desert's a decent spot to set up a starter base. Um, so, I think that island over there actually is the spawn island. Uh, so we're very close to the spawn island and the mushroom island just beyond that. Um, so, let me show you a map of Season 7 here. And yeah, we are actually where the X is on this map. So, yeah, not a, not a bad spot, pretty close to the main mushroom island, so... Yeah, right here, I think what I'm going to do now is I want to set up a pyramid. Uh, because I don't want to build just a traditional, like, hut, basically. So I'm going to make a little pyramid here, probably about, I don't know, maybe seven, eight blocks tall. With a little bit of space on the inside. And yeah, we'll see how it looks and see if we can set up a little base here. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we got ourselves a pyramid-like structure now. Just a very small structure to get us started, so we have somewhere to put our stuff and somewhere to, uh, I guess, like, gather items without having to worry about creepers blowing us up and stuff. So, <laughs> that's really all this is, but yeah, just got a little pyramid structure. We do have the campfire providing some smoke uh, signal action up there to basically allow us to easily spot where our base is from a distance. Um, so, yeah, inside here, pretty basic stuff. We just got the campfire elevated on a hay bale. Did that because they don't want the dogs to die on the campfire by accidentally stepping on it. That would be bad. <laughs> got our bed here. Uh, we got some chests, which I've started to try and organize stuff here a little bit. So here, like, we have the food and plants chest. Up here, we got the rare and valuables chest. And then down here, we got wood chest, which is desperately low right now, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, that, and then we have furnaces over here, so that's basically all we got right now, so yeah, this is just, like I said, a temporary thing, but yeah, I want it to be close to the Mushroom Island and the, uh, the ocean here so we can get around and move around uh, fairly easily, so with that, guys, uh, I think I'm going to call it an episode for today. I need to go and g gather some wood, so that's what I'm probably going to do now, just going to hop in the boat and head out get some wood but if you enjoyed today's episode please do leave a like be sure to subscribe and as always guys thank you once again for watching to spin cub goodbye